1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the what's news going was on, guys? Ryan 3D here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. The Today, we will be playing Umbrella. Resident Evil 4 the for the PlayStation the 4. Community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating glow crippling its very foundation. I'm going to try not to talk not over the story chances, part, but this is a really President old the game. They just re-released it for the PlayStation 4. Raccoon City. So um, for all you guys that's not familiar with the story, I'll kind of let you listen to Leon explain. To to but um, I just want to talk it about it so bad. Crashed. And this is one of my purposes, favorite games umbrella. of all times. I love this game. I played it on the GameCube when it first came out, and I think I played it at least 50 times. So um, I, when I heard that it was being released for PlayStation 4, I just had to pick incident. it up. So uh, we're going to go through the story here a little bit so we can uh, see what's going on. So I'll be quiet for a minute. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornell, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Alright, I remember these cutscenes like it was yesterday. I think I, I think I remember everything that happened in the game, but it's it's a little fuzzy. It's been a while. I hope I can. It was right get before it okay. I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Oh, there's somebody's watching us. Watching us pee. It's freezing. So cold. It's a pervert. Ah, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. So unlike Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, um, this one is not based around like zombies. And I have a I have a slight speculation here. I feel, and this is my opinion, that this game is closely related to Resident Evil, the new Resident Evil 7 game that's coming out in, uh, late or earlier next Just year. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Yeah, y'all watch Don't the car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right, parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. All right, we're in the game. So I had to... 
I played a little bit as earlier just to get the feel of controls and it's just like I remember this the tank controls but um, I actually had to change some because this now this is like this camera uh, and I hate that so I'm gonna try not to use that as much because that's gonna get me definitely get me killed so uh, let's go ahead and get these pros first that's what we want no! damn it all right so we want to get these pros because we want to pick up as much loot as possible so we give us money later on we can buy stuff in the game let's try and reload so as soon as we get up to the house here it's gonna get spooky so like i was saying i think this game is going to be closely related to the new resident evil 7 game um that's coming out earlier next year because the setting of this game feels a lot like the epilogue so it feels a lot I'm trying to talk you know it's very rude man so it feels a lot like how the um, the first hour demo was for Resident Evil 7 where you kind of have the crazy family and, they're, and like this old decapitated house alright let's watch this part Uh, excuse me, sir. Okay, he was coughing while I was talking. Now he didn't want to answer me. See, and as you can see, they're I was not wondering zombies. if you might There's recognize like a girl people. in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze. Back up. I said freeze. Oh, and there's more. Is everything okay? There was no, a hostile okay. local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Alright, take the lead. Neutralize him. We straight up murdered him. Alright, so... They're outside waiting for us. So what we're going to do is, you can see I'm coming now, coming up there, let's jump out the window. No. Back out. I wouldn't even be surprised if that crazy family in the uh, first hour of Resident Evil 7 is somehow related to this group of people some kind of way like the uh, like one of the daughters or the wives of one of these guys you know actually didn't die and left here you know, just speculation right now. We're speculating. I seriously think it's related to the game now.
Alright, so we hear the dog whimpering. Whenever you see these red crosses like this, that means there's traps around, so you have to watch. Watch out for that. Let's help the dog. I remember a little bit about the game. See, there's a trap over there. So, I'm going to show you a trick. Alright, there is, they have dynamite set up right here, right? So, what you want to do is, I'm going to show you a trick. There's a trap in the middle, but we're not going to go that way. If you go around this, you're going to trigger the guys up here. Let's run up here. Alright, he's gonna come for us. Run around this. And then he blows himself up like an idiot. And there's actually another trick in the game too that you can do to kind of make them walk into their own dynamite and stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. You know, it's coming back to me a little bit. Alright, so I think there's a guy in here. No, not in here. It's the next one. So this is just a regular cabin. That. Grab the loot. And a surprise behind us. This woman must have said something bad to somebody. To get a pitchfork to the face. Like really? I guess there's no sex discrimination here. <laughs> right. Like. What did she say? Alright. We got some more. Now you can shoot these guys in the leg, that'll kind of stun them, and that'll give us a chance to um, like kick them or you know, drop kick them or something. Now, I remember I used to be able to shoot these guys, I can't remember or not, but I'm not going to waste ammo trying to test that theory right now. Alright, here's the, alright, here's the guy, there's the guy in here, this is the one. So we can shoot him in the face. Oh, miss. Oh, let's get a little closer. Get a little closer. Oh, you know what? Let's just trigger him. Come on. Come on. Oh! No! Alright, that's all I was trying to do. Lord Sadler. Yeah, call your mommy. No, I'm kidding. Alright, let's grab some more ammo. And let's go ahead and heal up. Let's move some of this stuff around. Alright, so, we're looking good, so far so good, so now we should be able to make it to the village, and now stuff is going to really get crazy. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Right, we don't need the manual. We don't need no stinking manual. Alright, so. Hey! Aka! Ah, Odin! Mierda! Let's 
So here now we can get a better look at the village. Plus, we'll be able to see one of the police officers that was riding with us was also captured. We don't want to wind up like him. So what we're going to do, we're going to sneak past. A little sneaky sneak. Now pretty much this is going to be survive for like 15 minute move. Once we, once we trigger them, they're just going to start chasing us for about 10-15 minutes. Until a bell rings and then they'll all leave us alone. Alright, I'm trying to sneak past this guy, but I'm sure he's going to see me. I want to get to this house so I can get the ammo out of there. Alright. Alright, got the ammo. I think there's ammo in here. Yes. We're gonna need this. Oh, got more ammo. Alright. So. Now that we have some better supplies. What we're gonna do next is. We're gonna make it to the next house. First, we're gonna take her out. Run, run! We need to get to the house. Why are these people? So that's actually no way to prevent this, so I just want to make sure I have better supplies. Chainsaw. Shit. Son of a Alright. Let's lock him in. And we need to grab ammo from over here. Oh. oh, that's just money. We don't need that. What we need is upstairs. And it's the shotgun. Alright. Let's push that down first. And we need to grab the shotgun ammo. Let's get a shotty. In your face! Oh no! Alright. Alright. Okay, what we need to do is. Be a little crazy. <laughs> See, I want to get them all bunched up like that. Oh no, they're coming this way. Run, 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 run. No, 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 get out of here. 
No, he's gonna kill me. No. Move. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this was gonna all be bunched up there. Shotgun time. All right. Stick with the plan. Running. Oh, nope, can't get it. Keep running. That chainsaw, the chainsaw guy's one shotter. Not mess with him. just had to survive until that bell rung. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Really? A bunch of crazy villagers just tried to murder me. And the one thing that comes to my mind is that they're going to bingo. Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. If I just almost got murdered by a bunch of crazy villagers, I would not be making jokes about bingo. You don't joke about bingo. All right, so now we're gonna search for some supplies. Oh. Oh, that was just the push to push okay. the lock. Down. All right. Anything up here? Shotgun shells. I think that was all that was in here. All right, let's finish checking the rest of these homes. I think we got everything out of here. Oh, I forgot I could have ran around here too. Alright, and let's jump down here.
Now we saw all the villagers going here. We're not going to be able to get in here yet. It's going to be a lot. We'll be able to get in there later. But then again, I don't want to go in there. Could they be crazy? And we can go up here. I think there's some more ammo up here. Yeah, shotgun shells. Get shoddy out. We can also kill these chickens. I think they give us like eggs we can eat. Come here, come here. So we can mix that with the green and red. And there should be one other place up here we can check for supplies. Here. Alright. And we get flash grenades. You'll see what these are good for later. And this is going to be live, of course. up to the next level which is over up here oh did we check all did we check ahead too nothing in here it's a trap Checking here. Ooh, ammo. And I think this is the letter from the chief. Just he's just telling the villagers to watch out for us if you guys wanna read that. Mendez, yeah. He's the uh chief. You'll you'll meet him later. Uh actually, let's get out gun back. We'll go ahead and mix this. That. And let's keep it moving. Let's put this over here. And okay, so these blue yeah, these blue medallions. If you get all of these, you'll get like a special gun. Alright, but first let's clear this area because there's going to be a bunch of um, zombies in here. But first, we're going to save. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Resident Evil 4. Alright. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.